So here's the story. I'm an avid camper, camping on the beach, camping in the forest, camping by the river, camping at music festivals, camping in a field, nature camping, side of the road camping, the beers, the fires, the friends. I love camping. But there was one problem, air mattresses. The more I camped, the more I hated them. They're not comfortable, they're not good for your back, they don't keep you warm, they take up all your floor space, they're not good for sharing. But the worst part, the six hour leak. I don't get it. Up. So one night, on a surf trip on the west coast, I was sitting at the fire, not looking forward to my leaky air mattress. And I started thinking, what else can I do? I could get a self-inflatable. They're typically for hikers, not very comfortable. But foam, foam is good, it never leaks. Your bed at home is made of foam, but they're just too big. It'd be sweet if you could vacuum pack them. And so, I invented Compressed. Compressed is a vacuum packable foam bed for camping. It's super comfortable, will never pop, and it charges your phone. It all starts with the right foam. We've chosen the perfect density for a comfort that you will love. But the true innovation behind the compressed system is the compressed vacuum pump. The power of a shop vac in the palm of your hand. The best part, non-existent setup time. We've been working on Compressed for over a year and a half. We've taken apart vacuum food savers, air compressors, dust busters, and some very expensive vacuum cleaners. We've experimented with foams, fabrics, silk screening, batteries, and 3D printed parts. We've designed, tested, and iterated. Over 70 people have slept on Compressed. They're always amazed by the comfort. We've already established relationships with five manufacturers. We teamed up with a supply chain management company who's gonna be helping us with logistics and quality control. We're right on the verge the one missing piece is injection molding. Injection molding is a typical process that's very expensive, but once you have it made, you can mass manufacture your plastic parts on a large scale. Without the mold, we can't build the pump. And without the pump, we can't build compressed. And that's why we need your help. Every backer helps bring compressed one step closer to reality. Our testers have loved it, and I know you'll love it too. Let's get this thing off the ground. The Slimfold Softshell is the next evolution of the Slimfold Wallet line. It's a minimal wallet that makes no compromises in thickness, design, or durability. The key is a new abrasion-resistant softshell material. Hi, I'm Dave from Slimfold. I started the search for a new material almost two years ago. It needed to be thin and strong, but I didn't like the feel of ballistic nylon or elastic. Those materials also unravel when cut, requiring different construction techniques, making the end product thicker. I found the perfect material about 18 months ago while traveling in Japan. It was a laser cut ski jacket whose edges didn't need finishing. I didn't know it at the time, but it would be another year before I would see that material again. 
Then I found a technical fabric mill where you can specify the elasticity, water repellents, and weave density. They produce material for such brands as North Face, Mama, Columbia, Under Armour, and even Gore, the producers of Gore-Tex. This highly technical synthetic material is rated for use in motorcycle wear and was subjected to a 70 mile per hour pavement fall simulation during development. Yet unlike ballistic nylon, it's got the highly refined look and feel of a soft shell. I received some sample material and created dozens of prototypes, combining the best construction techniques from Tyvek, fabric, and leather. The end result has an ID window with a stitched plastic cover and card slots, but is still super thin. The micro fits US, Euro, Canadian, Pesos, Australian, and similar sized bills. It has a smaller footprint, but still a capacity of 12 to 14 cards. This original soft shell is good for all foreign currency, large checks and receipts, boarding passes, and this is the thinnest option and largest capacity. This is the perfect material for the next slim fold. It's also expensive, costing more per square inch than many leathers. Now the designs are finalized for both an original and micro size. I need your help to put together a large enough order to jumpstart production. You'll be the first to get one and I'll pass along the savings to you. Thanks for your support. With MakerArm, we've built a machine that's sleek and fits anywhere in your workspace. You can connect to it remotely from a browser window on any device and it has a really intuitive user interface which will allow you to see your MakerArm in a 3D setting and allow you to import 3D objects into the workspace so you can actually see your projects coming to life. We are part of the Naked community here in Austin, Texas, and we have worked on many hardware projects in the past using machines like 3D printers, CNC milling machines, engravers, uh, and many other tools. And we found uh, them to be bulky, expensive, and not very intuitive at all. We realized that, that there are already robotic arms uh, implemented in industry, being used in industry, that can do a lot of that stuff. But what we're trying to do with Maker Arm is bring all of that, all of that functionality in the form of a really sleek and slender, uh, compact machine. Once we had the initial concept done, we worked with Josh Harris of Red Bolt for the industrial design. We wanted it to be an interchangeable 3D printer, CNC milling machine, a laser cutter, and engraver. We wanted it to have pick and place functionality. We wanted a lot from Maker Arm, and we set up to design and deliver a machine that did just that. Maker Arm has been inspired by Neil Gershenfeld's vision of the integrated personal fabricator. Uh, he writes about this in his book Fab and he, he, his vision is that there's one universal machine, one fabrication tool that is able to make anything anywhere. So one of the projects we worked on with the Maker Arm was building a Raspberry Pi laptop. Everything ranging from building the outer casing to building the custom PCB board that go in the, in the laptop all the way to fastening screws to assemble the laptop, we did it all with the Maker Arm. One of our main objectives is versatility. With one machine, you're able to go from 3D printing to laser cutting, pick and place, assembling, and just swap out different heads for all these applications. One of the wonderful features that we're offering is a hardware development toolkit, which will allow makers to envision, design, and develop their custom tool heads for use with maker art. And that really makes me very happy as a maker because there are uses for Maker Arm that we haven't even thought of ourselves. Please support us on Kickstarter. These are the applications that we've thought of. We'd love to see what the Maker Arm can do in your hands. 
Is it just me, or there's some serious problems with winter coats? Think about it. They're not equipped to save you from cold. When the weather suddenly turns on you, you realize you don't have your gloves, scarf, hat. Even if you prepare for everything before you go out, you look like this guy. We realized that winter coats need some serious upgrade. Actually, we thought that they need to be reinvented. So we did just that. Here is our story. First, we wanted to have the gloves as part of the coat, but without the bulge. We tried it so many ways. It either compromised look or functionality. And after testing, and testing, and testing, we did it. The trick was to create something super light and super warm at the same time. While creating this coat, we actually invented a new glove. It's 100% leather, warm, water resistant, and fits perfectly with our parkas. It can be used to operate touch devices, and it's so light that there's no bulge. We don't want you worrying about a scarf either, so we made it part of the coat. Hip length parkas look cool. But in the winter, sometimes you need to cover more. Why buy two jackets? We've given you an extension for those extra harsh days. Yes, it's two jackets in one. We also give you an extra removable layer for warmth. So this parka is good for winters and really harsh winters, which means you can use it for that ski vacation in Austria, as well as for wintering in Florida. This parka is made for the urban lifestyle. You'll look awesome on your way to work with a place to put your phone, tablet, glasses, and keys. And stylish when you go out with friends while keeping your hands free. Want to carry your hat? No problem, we have you covered. We also threw in a pocket for a tracker tag in case you don't remember at which club you forgot your coat last night. The world's best parka needs the world's best materials, both inside and out. For six months, we explored every option to make it waterproof, but breathable, warm, but lightweight. We learned everything about fabrics, fills, insulations, zippers, leather, fur, and waterproofing. And after 188 days of continuous product development and usability testing, we made Smart Parka. This is the best winter coat in the world, period. The pockets are made for carrying your stuff safely and comfortably. Built-in scarf and gloves means you'll never forget them. It can be extended and it's adaptable for different temperatures. It's functional, durable, and looks really, really cool. So for you, the awesome people of Kickstarter who help us take off, we have decided to completely cut out the retail margin. And for the first few supporters, we'll bring the price close to our actual manufacturing cost. All we ask in return is that you support us now and share the hell out of this video. Smart Parka, the last winter coat you'll ever need.